Hello, welcome back to Distant Worlds 2. We're continuing our Tekken playthrough here. And hopefully are going to relatively soon uh, expand beyond our initial solar system and start branching off into the wider galaxy. We are relatively positive cash flow. Not as high as I'd like to see it, but better than nothing. Our population is growing. We have two colonies in our initial system. Hey... That is a massive decrease in cash flow as a result of the terraforming that was added on here, the terraforming facility. But, uh, you know, it'll make the quality better. It'll repair the damage. So it's probably worth doing, although it's going to be prohibitively expensive for a large period of time. We're going to have to be a little bit mindful of the cash flow situation. Uh, at this point, we're just going to... Kind of let things tick away. Our economy is not going to get any better. Well, it'll get slightly better as the population grows. But in general, it's not going to get better until we get some more tech and branch out outside of our initial. So at this point, it's a bit more of a wait and see situation. But hopefully sooner than later, because this is just going to slowly. Our cash on hand is going to slowly dwindle down. Nope, we're not doing that right now. Right, one more year and we will have stable warp field. I'm hoping that'll give us enough range to be able to branch outward, but we might have to wait another three years before we get the uh, storage system. Five years, Ugh. even worse. Well, let's see what happens. Really, we just have to limp along till this damage is all repaired, quality is improved. So it's one per year, which means 10 years of it. It, the damage has already gone down a little bit. It was like negative 31. Now it's negative 28. On the plus side, they're at least fully assimilated. So we don't have that penalty. The cash flow seems to be going up a lot more rapidly. It's like six or seven a tick now. So at least we got that going for us. Just about to hit stable warp fields. All right, here we go with stable warp fields. It is complete. Now we're working on fuel systems, but the hope is that we are going to be retrofitting very well immediately is the hope. Looks like they're hopping back there now. Probably should have manually moved them back just to be a little more optimal in our uh, retrofitting, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Looks like we got a little bit of retrofitting going on here. Construction ships are definitely getting retrofit. And it looks like we are equipping the warp bubble generator. So what is our distance now? Yes, and get out there, which is great. So now I want to build more, uh, more exploration ships. Even though I'm a little cash strapped right now, I do want to build four more exploration ships. The, the economy will get better over time. I'm not overly worried about that. This I am a little more worried about. <laughs> uh, pirates are moving in here. They will fight each other. They also look like they're coming in uh, pretty hot towards me. Let's go ahead and look at what we got going on here in our system. Let's see what these guys are. These guys are the Lone Claw Marauders who aren't even... Not even the same guys. But actually, these are different pirates. All right, so they're they're beating each other up a little bit. I mean, they're also attacking me, too, but all right, they're gonna raid. They're definitely gonna win that. There's no way they're not. Uh, they are stealing cash too, which very much an unfortunate situation there. All right, we are branching out into the uh, the galaxy a little bit. They're gonna run out of fuel out there. I'm hoping they'll be able to get back. Uh, they probably will. The fu the extended fuel will make it even better. Critical research. Give us a free crash. Great. Gonna help that get done even quicker. Right, they're taking off. Last exploration ship going right now. Ooh, we got an independent colony. So let's send a gift. Well... Let's wait a little bit for us to trend upward. 
Then we'll send a gift. Then we'll try a new trade thing. Slowly work our way up with them. Maybe we'll get lucky enough to actually get that on, uh, have them become part of our empire. All right, they stole a bunch of stuff. That's fine. We could probably recover from that. Here we go with so many pirates coming in. Now, this is actually really potentially good for us. Uh, that being that close, we have the potential of branching out almost immediately to another system uh, and a positive um, population. I would hope the uh, the revenue would, would go up too. All right, so we are discovering new stuff, which is great. Definitely have to start getting as much of this as possible. Anything new just to keep our development up, which is going to help our economy. We can see we're starting to move towards a... Um, more positive environment which is good because this is uh slowly repairing but it's not repaired yet and it's going to take a long time that's a big expense to incur for an extended period of time really 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 need to get more cash positive overall we are surveying a bunch of unknown planets we got some repairs going on we must have been attacked by something oh you're gonna run out we're going to run out of fuel, my man. The good news is apparently you still move relatively quick, so you can get back even even with being out of fuel. So hopefully we get the repairs done and we are able to get uh, back up and running relatively soon. We got another one in the same type of situation. Working their way in this direction. It looks like you're still ticking up. Until you stop ticking up, I think I'm going to wait. Because ultimately I do want to get a... Restricted trade agreement. I really can't do that right now. They have to be much happier with me. I don't want to spend the money yet. I, I have to save that for another time. When we're going to need that big push to get the, the free trade agreement or whatever it is. I assume we have the ability to make a colony ship. Nope, not yet. Apparently not. We are getting very close to becoming cash positive. Alright, now they're starting to destroy our ships. Is quite unfortunate took a lot of money there and that gave us like way more corruption which lowered our income which is just damaging all around to our economy yeah this initial push is going to be very very difficult with all these different pirate factions flying around it might be worth the money at least temporarily to befriend some of them just so that they leave me alone and don't attack Right, well, you guys, I would like to... You don't like us. Well, that's not very nice. We're about to get fuel cells, which is going to let us go a little bit further distance, which means we're going to be able to explore more. Right, so none of these pirates want to be friends with us. Well, at least not the first one. Let's see if you guys will. Nope. All right, well, at least one of them will become allies with us temporarily. Right, we got the fuel cell we're doing some more research there so the hope is that our uh friends here well these aren't our friends yet but i want to make some of them my friends so they'll defend our planet a little bit this does get pretty brutal overall so a lot of times they don't destroy they just harass you still have basic fuel cells i imagine we have a design that does not just have basic. Yes. Yes, you have regular. Okay, so we need to do some retrofitting, apparently. It does, unfortunately, look like we have lost. Uh, two, maybe? Well, let's go ahead and build two more just so we can continue our expansion. That raid did put us in the cash negative again, which is unfortunate. But we did gain a little bit of cash at some point in the mix here. Dealing with these uh, initial pirates is uh, always very challenging, especially with the difficulty I have it set on. All right, this is getting better and better. It's at 6% uh, increase. Goes up to 10. The damage repair was at negative 31. Now it's at negative uh, 6. So it's, it's getting there. Hopefully relatively soon our population will be a little more positive. Help offset some of this craziness going on. Take a look at the galaxy and see if there's anything that's popped up that makes sense to 
build? Not yet. All right, so EX4 has a little bit more space. Not a ton, but a little bit more wiggle room with the uh, extended fuel cells. Hey, you offer us protection. I will actually take that. Because paying 125 a month is going to be cheaper than going negative on my cash flow for an extended period of time while I recover from your raids. Overall, I think that's just a better move. And you'll harass the other pirates that attack me. So it's like kind of a win-win. At some point, I will have to get um, some ships up and running. But for the time being, I think we're we're okay. Look at this independent colony. You are neutral with us. Let's see if we can negotiate a deal. Not yet. Gifts are very expensive. It's going to be 37000 So that's going to put us in the hole quite a bit. Probably wait another two years before trying to do this. Maybe three. To max out our uh, reputation. And, and try to make it as good as possible they have a 6k economy so hopefully we can fold that into our uh our empire i might as well build a couple more exploration ships we are cash positive now well we're at some point we'll start working on deflectors and trying to get that up and running population growth rate is pretty good I'm a little surprised to see them separated out into separate uh, groups because they're both just Tegan. Uh, I'll go ahead and build this even though I don't need it at the moment. I will at some point need it, I'm sure. This is the next closest suitable colony. We are attempting to peacefully colonize it. Although it will take a couple years to make that happen. Well, it should take a lot of years to make that happen. It'll be a couple years before we start making the um, initial progress towards it. Could build an escort. Probably not worth it at this stage of the game. It's just going to weigh down my economy. Right now, the focus needs to be on expansion. As much expansion as we possibly can. There is a spaceport over here. What is your deal? Abandoned, huh? Already investigating? Crafty Shroud is investigating. Well, it's not that one. So where is the Crafty Shroud? You are moving there. You're not there yet. All right, so we're slowly but surely getting there. Well, it looks like we got invaded anyway. I was hoping, because we became friends with the uh, most significant pirate faction, they'd do it, they would do a little more to protect us, but... Uh, Apparently that is not the case. The Hidden Marauders, it'd be nice if we can get them to protect us. They do not seem willing yet. We are about to finish Research Labs, which is going to be a pretty decent leap forward in research output. I mean, relatively speaking. Did that actually go down? Seems a little, a little nuts to me. Oh, probably because of the bonuses and we're researching a different field of tech. Uh, sensors would probably be a good idea, but man, that is a lot of time. Yeah, let's do transport systems. Probably more important than heavy ion weapons. Because then we can get some stuff up and running. As far as moving stuff between planets. Could try for basic Securian. It's three years. It would help us uh, colonize that planet, which is pretty beneficial overall. we we'll go ahead and queue up space construction after that. Because we do get some bonuses to that. Proved escorts would be okay. Way too much time on that. All right, we'll queue those things up even though we're not going to do anything right exactly at the moment with that. But that seems fair enough to start with. An unusual station. Further exploration is warranted. We've lost contact. Interesting. Oh, is it attacking us now? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The virus. So I got a creepy enemy station that's blowing up my ships. It looks like we're getting some of the root over here. So that is unfortunately a hostile station. It did not get, give us a bonus. In fact, it gave us a little bit of a penalty in the form of destroying our ships. I don't know if ultimately it'll be better than that, but kind of where it's at right now. 
This is a potentially colonizable planet. This Mahala station is theoretically within range, but I think if we come in from over here, we could colonize that without much of a problem. The issue right now is we don't have the tech to colonize. Go ahead and look at the tech tree and see what we can dig up there. Basic colonization, I think, has to be added to the list. And might even be worth bumping up to near the top of the list just because of the, the value of getting another planet up and running sooner than later. Uh, this is a game that's very much dependent on snowballing and just building over time. So that could be hugely beneficial to have that sooner rather than later. All right, let's take a look at our diplomacy here. This is not going up any further. So we are to the point where we have to do something. Go ahead and send a large gift. And let's negotiate a deal. Let's hop right to limited trade agreement. Uh, what do you think of that? You like it? I'm glad you like it. So free trade agreement is the next thing that is in the um in the list there. Now this will they're pleased with us right now. This will tick up over time. Some of this is going to tick down, but I think once this hits the bottom, this will... I think this goes up to maybe 20 over the next several years. And then we'll try... We'll send another gift. We'll get them on a free trade agreement. We'll let that tick up. Hopefully by then we have the colonization tech, which we're going to need to take over this planet. And then it should position us to have a 100% chance of getting it in which case the hope is by then we'll uh we'll just build a ship and head over there and then we can get another ship uh, another colony ship and head to that other planet that's plus 21 anything that's over plus 20 will ultimately be cash positive so it's worth worth doing it's going to continue to be a little bit of a pain in the butt these uh, exploration ships certainly are taking a while to explore some of them are limping back for repairs, though, which I guess isn't that surprising. We have a lot more to explore. We are running a little light on fuel. Although we, it looks like we can refuel over here. Uh, we could build that. Seems to produce a lot of steel. More pirates. Huh. That's always a little bit challenging. Uh, they offer us protection. I'll accept that. I think that's fine. Uh, we can keep up with it economically, at least theoretically we can. All right, we're just biding our time till we get the colonization tech and we get the uh, relationship built up with this independent colony. Which again, over time, that's just going to continue to build. Now, the one thing I am not doing and that I probably should do is... Spies need to be sent on some missions here. Although this is all very low chance of feeding. A little bit better. Uh, this is way better. Okay. So they definitely can do these missions. I will have to do a little bit of manual spying because the automated uh, system doesn't seem to like me doing that. What was the, uh, the prompt there for... I assume getting rid of that terraforming facility now that we don't need it. Yeah, we should, because that'll save us some cash. We're actually really good on this planet now. So does that give us the ability to migrate people now that I have a... Yes, we have the tourist ship. Looks like that's getting built up a little bit. Way more positive cash. So we probably should start building some form of military to start... Trying to beat back these pirates a little bit. Um, go ahead and try to get something up and running here. I have not researched the improved escorts yet, but that's that's fine. Probably not going to be worth it. Uh, you know what? I, at this point, it's not worth it because the ships are going to have like 17 power. And they're going to be going up against ships that are 400, 800 power. And they'll just get destroyed. So I'll be wasting money doing it. I need to research better techs first. Um... Just so that I can get to a point where if I build a fleet of them, 20, 30 of them, I can maybe capture or take out one or two ships, which preferably capture, because then I can break down to 
get the get the tech out of it for free. That would be the ideal scenario anyway. How are our little research babies doing? Some of these guys are disabled in the middle of nowhere, which is not providing any value to us. So let's shuttle that. Shuttle you. I already got rid of you. You're moving, so I'm not worried about that. The only ones that weren't moving that I was concerned about. The downside is the more I build, the more challenging it's going to be. Hey, we successfully stole some tech. Look at that. Uh, one of them didn't make it though yeah a little basic medical systems advanced nuclear fission is armor plating three days bump that up no problem early energy deflectors we could definitely get that going look at that we're gonna have a little bit of defense going on it'll be good for us yeah, the more we could steal the better off we're gonna be it looks like these guys are all piling in over here to get this uh the Danthia root. Hey, where was that discovered? Well, to some extent, it must have been at an existing location. Another empire has already built a base here. Ah, it's a pirate base. Actually, kind of grateful we did not find another actual empire yet. All right, I gotta wait for this to tick up, and then once, once this stops trending up, we can go ahead and do another one, max out the trade agreement. And then we can head over there with the colony ship once this is done, which isn't too far off. We could definitely afford to expand. So like this is very much key to expanding right now. But at this point, I actually don't care if they're captured. I just want to focus on trying to steal as much as I can. To that end, I think I can go here. And if I go to intelligence missions, I think I want very high aggressiveness and let's see if they do a better job of automating the the theft let's see if he goes after something automatically nope he didn't so let's manually put him in a terrible risky situation I think 74 is the best chance do a little early torpedo weapons All right this guy actually has a decent chance of Getting uh, advanced target tracking. Is there any other thing we could steal? Sensors or anything like that that's worth it? Planetary exploration might be worth it. All right, colonization tech is done. Now we need to expand. Okay, so they, they want a gift. I don't want to give them a gift per se. Uh, this is probably worth doing. It'd be about a year to finish the tech. Uh, medical systems, not really at this point. None of this other stuff. We do need some boarding. I feel like we don't really have a lot of that stuff yet. We'll get there. This takes a while. All right, so we have the ability to make colony ships now. Let's take a look. Did it automatically build something it did? So if we look at our strategy here... Uh, more importantly, we look over here. All right, it's a 0% success at the moment. But I feel like if we did a... Yeah, if we, I think once we do a free trade agreement, we'll be good. I'm going to build a colony ship just to get it going. Because there's a chance I can get to like 80, 85%. And I think that's good enough to risk it. Very expensive. It's going to cost us a ton of money to get a colony ship up and running. But that's fine. Yeah, strength 128. That's way higher than any any of what our ships would be. Ravalex, huh? I, st I steer clear of that for a little bit. Yeah, that one little crappy ship was better than our entire spaceport and everything else. Right, you, we're going to manually control. We're going to set you to never load up some colonists. I don't even care if you get a full amount of colonists. I just need you to get some people up on a ship. All right, yeah, you should be able to reach over there. Oh, there's pirates there. That's going to be a little bit of a problem, I think. Maybe they'll be gone by then. I don't know. That looks like more and more are piling in, which is just really bad timing. 
I don't know. Maybe they'll be gone by the time we get there. I don't know. Probably not. We do have a ship arriving. Or at least flying by. We can't send a gift right now. We're out of money. So this is all... This plan is falling apart very quickly. I think we're just going to park right out here for the time being. We can always go down here and go to the other planet. Do we have a chance of... Getting an agreement with them, we do not. Not at the moment, anyway. But we, like, hopped into the planet. Let's try to jump out of there if we can. These guys are going to attack us. I don't want to deal with that at the point. At this point. Whoa, that is a huge cash drop. What happened there? I feel like our money's just bouncing all over the place. We can get these pirates to chill out long enough for us to make this trade be good i mean at this point we're probably gonna be forced to wait but if we finish this that's just gonna make things even easier yeah so far our money's going down very very unfortunate i really do want to progress this though i don't want to get stuck pirates are attacking each other well you do your thing i guess uh part of me feels like we should just scrap this I would keep getting close and then never actually crossing the finish line so to speak I kind of want to come back here and refuel and then head down here and colonize this one planet that I know uh, would actually be a solid candidate the thing I struggle with is we keep getting like so close to being able to do this trade and if I could do that I think I could tip us over the edge and just colonize this this planet there we go. We got basic Securian done, which is going to increase their relationship with us even further. Let's do this, and then let's offer a free trade agreement, which they want to join us. So let's uh, let's try to do that real quick. Let's look at our colonization chances. 100%. Let's go colonize. Or try. There's a single pirate ship, other side of the planet. We might be able to sneak in and get this uh, get this colony. Uh, where's where are you at? Okay, so you're up there. No treaty with you at the moment. So why would you come in on the side there? Right, Twenty seconds. Probably be okay. Yes. Perfect. All right, we have colonized the planet. It is now ours. That is yet another planet we can go ahead and continue expanding growing and hopefully at some point um getting some meaningful cash flow out of because right now we're it's creeping us back towards the negative which is never uh never a good thing if i can get this to positive 42 i can get another planet up and running down here that would be very valuable overall but a little bit tricky all right, let's go ahead and see what we got going on over here. We can just pause for a second. I'm going to go ahead and send these guys on more research stealing missions. Uh, just because I feel like we can get some good early game techs knocked out, get it out of the way. So we'll do a little kinetic weapons. Deflectors, I think we already have. Well, that's advanced deflectors. Some scanners could be nice. Would help us move our... Right now, we have a bunch of exploration ships. That would be very helpful to move us forward with that. We'll go ahead and get that going. Our cash is coming in slowly but surely. We still have unknown items at the different planets we already have. It's going to take time to uh, get that tech sorted out. These pirates, man, they are, they are brutal. They just keep stealing stuff. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode there. We've made a fair amount of progress overall. We've taken over this entire... Uh, well, we got our first two planets in the first episode. We branched off to here. We're trying to save up enough money, which is going to take a while, but try to get to like 42000 a little bit more. Build another colony ship, come down here, colonize this planet. Exploration ship-wise, we're down to nine, so we're definitely losing some ships in the process here. 
But we are exploring and surveying and continuing to expand. Uh, now that we've gotten this planet, that's a nice refuel stop. We should be able to branch out a little bit more in this direction, start exploring a little bit deeper. Uh, we're going to keep chugging away at the techs here, dealing as much tech as we can from the pirates just so we can try to, you know, leapfrog our growth over time. Uh, but that's uh, really all we all we can do for the time being. We just need our economy to stabilize and grow. Thankfully, we've stayed mostly cash positive this entire time, but it gets a little bit, a little bit tricky. Um, I wonder if I can take this over or if they're just going to destroy me. My guess is they're just going to destroy me because that's what's already happening. Okay, we got a nice little spaceport up and running over here, which is potentially useful gonna be a while before we have as much resources as we need but we actually have deflectors now which is nice a little bit a little bit of strength hopefully over time things will get just a little bit better until the point where we could actually start taking out pirates there is another planet here um and this is kicking in the right direction but we will eventually reach a point where this is zero and this keeps ticking up uh, and we will try to colonize this planet as well, peacefully, diplomatically. Um, all right, we did st steal both of these research packs. So let's go ahead and just plan that out before we completely call it an episode here. I think there's at least a little bit more I'd like to do. You could try to go for advanced deflectors. And you can try to go towards maybe crew systems. Go ahead and look at the tech tree. I'm sure we have something queued up here. We could do a little, little bit of kinetic weapons. That'll get done relatively quick. Uh, advanced deflectors would be a nice little bump in performance here. Maneuvering's only a year. So our, our research is getting better. Planetary exploration. Okay, so those are other improvements we can make shortly. Definitely have to do more stealing, though, because this is not, not quite enough tech. All right, well, we are trending in the right direction. I can't say once we meet another uh, race and we find out they already have 30 colonies and they're ready to destroy us, that that's not going to become a problem. But for the time being, I think we're doing fairly well. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, see more content in the future, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.